Mabuhay ka Falcos! Greetings of peace and love. Your Medic Rio here is live now from Manila, Philippines. Magandang gabi po. Buenas noches. Good evening everyone, especially to all returning Filipinos. This video content is for you because I will be sharing my personal experiences when I traveled from the Mom Kingdom of Saudi Arabia to the Philippines for my vacation. So, hopefully, this will help you. Kasi alam naman natin na um, every time there are changes to the processes and to the steps uh, na ikakomply or ginagawa sa mga returning Filipinos or even tourists. Kasi ang ating IATF on emerging infectious diseases um, nag update din ang mga decisions nila. So hopefully, this uh, my experience will help lots of uh, um, returning Filipinos kung magbakasyon na sila uh, to the Philippines. And for the information of everybody, I am an OFW from Saudi Arabia. So to me, uh, halos similar lang naman ang, uh, ang processes especially uh, those OFWs from the Middle East. So we shall start with the basic requirements. Of course, pag mag ka or you're scheduled for vacation, you should have the flight ticket already. You, sh you should have a valid passport with you and uh, a visa. So yun yung basic requirements. At alam na ng, ng halos lahat ng OFWs yan. Then, um, one to three days prior to your flight, there are two links na dapat nating dapat nating i-fill out online or dapat nating i-register. Dapat tayo mag-register online. And these two links will be indicated on the comment section. If you have uh, questions on how to register or to fill out each uh, portion, uh, feel free to comment uh, down there. <laughs> Tanong lang po kasi nagre-reply naman po ako sa uh, co sa, sa comments ng, or sa mga inquiries ninyo sa baba. So there are two links that will be uh, filled out or we need to register one to three days prior to our departure from um, the, the country that we are working uh, at. First is the OWA Oasis. The link will be indicated uh, on the description and the comment section. And the second is the ECIF or the electronic case or electronic case investigation form by Philippine Red Cross. So two lang siya. OWA Oasis, OWA Oasis and uh, ECIF by Philippine Red Cross. So once na fill out niyo na po iyan, you are good to go. Okay. Now, nung pumunta na ako sa Damam dahil sa Damam ang aking departure point. Um like 5 hours, I arrived at the airport. Hindi pa open ang counter. So, uh, usually, ang ginagawa nila is they designate or the airport uh, personnel designate a specific assembly point. So, tinatanong naman nila upon entry kung uh, Manila, uh, Palka ba or Manila, Philippine Airlines. My flight is Philippine Airlines. So, i-instruct ka ng, person, ng airport personnel kung saan ang assembly ang temporary assembly area ng passengers kasi isahan po ang pag check in isahan isahan po ang ang pila or i mean isahan ang time of start ng pag check in so habang hindi pa open ang check in counters uh, may isang assembly area muna na iaalat for uh, pal passengers by the way i am uh, my my Carrier, uh, my uh, airline is PAL. For para sa PAL passengers, wala nang requirement ng uh, uh, PCR test. But as far as I know, um, ang other airline companies like Gulf Air and Saudi or Saudi Airlines nagre require sila ng PCR test. Yun yung experience ng ng iba kong friends. Okay, so for PAL, wala na pong PCR test requirement. Yun lang po. Um, if you fill out lang natin, again, ang two links, OWA Oasis and ECIF by Philippine Red Cross. Then, 
um, valid passport, ticket, and the visa. Okay. Now, uh, nung check-in time na nag-open ang check-in time or nag-open ang check-in, uh, isa-show lang, ipapresent lang po sa counter as usual ang passport and the flight ticket. Then, of course, you have to uh, uh, check in your baggage also. For PAL, a uh, 2, 23 kilo, 2 bags, maximum of 23 kilos each, and a hand carry. Ako, may hand carry ako na isang backpack and uh, ang laptop bag ko. So, I, have, uh, two, I had two uh, uh, hand carry baggages. Okay, once na maka-check in na, pupunta na tayo sa, pipila na po tayo sa uh, immigration. Just present the passport na naman doon. Same as usual, passport lang. Then, after that, you will be in, you, you will go to the boarding or to your assigned boarding gate. So, my experience sa uh, Damam, uh, ang, um, ang aming, ang Philippine Airlines na boarding gate uh, was at gate 25. So, doon kami nag-antay. Um, sa check-in, nag-o-observe ng social distancing kasi may mga mark. Sa, imig, uh, sa immigration also, may, may, may mga marks din on social distancing. Pero pagdating sa boarding gate, uh, parang hindi na ma-observe kasi medyo uh, in, crowded na. Hindi na masyadong makakaminti ng 1 meter distance. It's boarding time. So prior to boarding, each passenger will be given a face shield by flight attendants. Then, pumunta, pupunta ka na next sa assigned uh, seat mo. Okay? After that, uh, you will be instructed to wear face mask and the face shield all throughout the flight. Except, of course, pag kumain, uminom ng tubig, mga uh, ganon. Pero, the rest, uh, you are... In, you are reminded to wear a face mask and a face shield. Sa Paul Philippine Airlines, hindi na observe din ang social distancing kasi punuan din siya. Hindi po one seat apart or whatsoever. Meron ka pong katabi kasi obviously puno ang plane namin. So hindi, siya, hindi na observe ang one seat apart. Uh, may katabi ka, may katabi dito, may katabi din doon. Punuan po siya. So do not expect na um, one seat apart ang upuan. Okay. Then after that, the dinner will be served. Kasi 5 p.m. ang departure namin. 5.10 to be, to, to be exact. So, mga 1-2 hours on the plane, binigyan na kami ng dinner. Of course, as usual, pipili ka ng beef or chicken. <laughs> And I chose beef. <laughs> Non-essential. Hindi, a joke lang. Okay. Um, habang nasa plane na, like, three or uh, four hours, while uh, sa himpapawid, magbibigay na ang flight attendants ng forms. We have, we, You will be given seven forms. And isa-isahin ko, nilista ko siya. Seven forms to be given by flight attendants na kailangan natin i-fill out. Uh, sa plane pa lang para pagdating sa pilahan, hindi na tayo uh, magwi-wait or hindi na tayo ma delay to avoid delays. So first, first form is the UWA Project Care Slip, Board of Immigration Arrival Card. Third is the Health Declaration Form or Health Declaration Card. Fourth is the Bureau of Customs Baggage Declaration Form. Fifth, Philippine Red Cross 2019 COVID Case Investigation Form. Six, One Stop Shop MROF or the Management of Returning Overseas Filipinos. And the seventh is IATF or Interagency Task Force on Emerging Infectious Diseases Declaration Form. So if you fill out natin dyan, basic Basic informations like passport, uh, a passport number, personal informations, name, yung mga ganon. So, 
it is very important that you have your own pen. Kailang may uh, own pen ka para hindi ka namang hiram-hiram sa katabi mo. Okay? Personal pen para para ma-fill out mo at hindi ka na mag-aantay-antay or maghihiram-hiram. Very use, very need talaga. Kasi hindi lang sa plane. After that, uh, um, marami, pang, marami pang times na kailangan mo ang pen kasi may mga if you fill out pa na form. You have to completely fill out the form. Pag may mga questions, you can ask uh, your uh, seatmate. Pero yung bawat details doon, uh, kailan mong i-fill out. So, these uh, seven cards or slash forms, kailangan mong i-fill out para ready na. Then, pagdating sa airport, upon arrival sa airport, hindi muna agad-agad uh, bababa. Uh, bababa. May, may briefing, may uh, konting briefing, briefing to be uh, done by Philippine Coast Guard. Then may papasok na personnel ng Philipp- from Philippine Coast Guard para i-collect ang health declaration card. Yun yung yellow card. So yun yung una yung ibibigay. Yun yung unang kukunin. Yung yellow card or the health declaration card. Then at the same time, may papasok din ang ibang personnel to check the temperature. May announcement yan, i-announce din naman sa plane. So, pag chinek na yung uh, temperature, you will be instructed to remove the face shield and your cup if you are wearing a uh, cup. Kasi parang gumagamit sila ng digital din, yung scan- uh, thermal scanner. Okay, once na makompleto na lahat, so baba- mag- mag- bababa na kayo ng, ano lalabas na kayo ng plane na naka uh, face mask and, a fa- and face shield. Then, dyan na nag-start, everything was smooth. Then, after makababa na ng plane, dyan na nag-start ang medyo, uh, hindi, hindi na, mas smooth naman siya, pero may mga delays and waiting periods lang. Pipila na kayo para sa, um, uh, para sa immigration. So, pipila na kayo, uh, if you are land based you will be may, may 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 mga magaguide na doon na personnel if mag uh, if you are a land based or fw sea based or fw or mga seaman and then tourists so of course ako pumunta dumaan doon sa pila sumunod sa pila ng land based o fw jan lang yung mga maraming waiting periods sa immigration so di ba pipila na Pipili na kayo sa immigration, ipapakita ang Bureau of Immigration Arrival Card. BOI card plus the passport. So, dalawa lang. Bureau of Immigration Arrival Card and the passport. So, pipila-pipila. Then, pagkatapos ng isa, same din. Tanggalin ang face shield pagdating sa immigration. Uh, and, uh, kasi, di ba, pinipicturan? or something oh, open the picture or can capture ang mukha kung ikaw ba talaga ang nasa passport di ba so pagdating ng BOI pagkatapos ng BOI pipil another pila na naman o ulit sa OWA OWA na ngayon ang magfa-facilitate so binigyan kami ng supposed to be breakfast sana yun eh pero dumat nagland kasi ang airplane namin at 7 7 o'clock in the morning on time naman, very on time siya. Then, sa, oh, pagkatapos ng immigration, OWA na ang mag-assist. Uh, May uh, OWA booth naman. Maraming personal ng OWA naman doon. So, pipila-pipila ulit. Bibigyan kayo ng food and water. Uh, then, mag-aantay na ng instruction. Kasi ang OWA ang mag-a-arrange ng hotel and transport. So, the, sa aming experience, ready na ang transport namin, ang bus sa labas, nakikita na namin. Pero, ang hotel noon, uh, medyo ina-arrange pa ng OWA. So, may delays talaga. 
So while waiting, of course, kumain na ako. Doon doon lang sa gilid kumain na nagpagilid-gilid lang ako nang walang masyadong dumadaan-daan. Then doon ko na uh, doon ako nag uh, supposed to be breakfast 'yon. Pero may sandwich din naman sa na binigay sa pal eh. So parang breakfast galing sa Owa. Ayos lang ang food uh, hindi naman uh, masyadong marami, hindi din naman konti. Tamang-tama lang. Tapos isang water ang binigay. So, kumain ako dun sa gilid habang nag-aantay. Kasi it took ko maybe um, almost two hours na mag-antay doon. So, owa na po ang nag-a-arrange ng hotel and transportation. So, pipila-pila. Then, ang ibibigay pag available na ang hotel and the uh, transportation ibibigay mo sa OWA ang OWA Project Care Slip if you fill out mo din ang bawat details um or ang bawat detail kasi madidelay ka din ipapagilid ka pag incomplete ang pag-fill out mo ng form kasi alam naman natin you you're you're causing delays so pag delay halimbawa ibinigay mo na ang OWA Project Care Slip then ang isang portion doon incomplete especially the address ha may permanent address doon a eh, home uh, home uh, address yung mga ganun so basic data basic uh, personal data lang naman so kailangan dapat wala kang ma-miss out kasi pag halimbawa isang portion lang dito ka muna ipapagilid ka muna so if you fill out muna naman ulit yon so magde-delay ka mahuhuli ka So, kailangan habang nag-aantay, i-recheck natin ang mga card or ang forms na binigay sa atin. Kung kompleto ba ang pagka-fill out natin or hindi or may mga missing details. So, pag ready na, ibibigay mo na sa OWA personnel ang OWA Project Care Slip. Then, you will be given na maliit na papel na may pangalan ng hotel. Hindi ko na i-mention ang name ng hotel kung nasaan ako. But I am in a, I, uh, I am in a hotel at Manila Bay. Maganda siya. Maganda din naman. Choosy. Maganda siya. Then, may pangalan ng hotel na ibibigay sa'yo. Bibigyan ka ng instruction na exit and then uh, bus. So, pipila-pila na kayo doon. May mga mag-a-assist naman kung saan bus ikaw pupunta. 